Tonight, a police chase down Government Street ends in a crash and only on Fox 10 News. We have surveillance video of the suspect getting handcuffed after trying to run from police. Fox 10's Lacey Beasley has that video and even talked to the owner of the home where all this went down in his driveway. Lacey. Hey Lee, that homeowner says everything happened around 1120. He was sitting in his kitchen when all of a sudden he looks out his window to see this unfold. Sauntering up to a house, kneeling down and crawling underneath. The man in this home surveillance video is clearly in no rush, but only seconds later does this happen. A mobile police officer finds him, pulls him out, then cuffs him with little to no seen resistance. And all this right in Will Bushman's driveway off Government Street. I heard a cop coming up say, put your hands up. Obviously gathered there was an arrest happening. Um, looked at my front door, a lot of cop cars on the street. And then I saw some recordings on my Simply Safe camera. Here's the scene just moments before. This car crashing onto a lawn on the corner of Monterey Street and government. Airbags deployed, shattered windshield, and at least two others seen taken on stretchers. The suspect trying to make a run for it and ending up at Bushman's house just one street over. I heard a noise. I don't know what the noise was. I think it was the guy trying to get under my house. What he says is normally a quiet street was swarming with officers hours earlier. While this did jar Bushman, he says he's just thankful his family is safe. He just came from the side yard and tried to hide under the house and was arrested like 90 seconds after. So obviously not a good hiding spot, but. <laughs> Now, MPD has yet to confirm how the two other injured people are involved, and they have not yet released names or charges. When that information does become available, we'll keep you updated on air and online at fox10tv.com. Reporting live in studio, Lacey Beasley, Fox 10 News.